So to provide some context for this, this is purely going to be for those of us who are trying to get chest to bar pull-ups and just get as high as we can. And so in order to do that, we want to ensure that we've got a range of motion that allows us to do that. Now, typically, if you're going for a wide grip, that's going to reduce your range of motion. And reducing your range of motion means that we're not going to be able to get that height that we want. So what we want to do is actually find a position whereby we are strong and whereby we are able to get as much range of motion as possible. And studies on lat pull downs, there haven't really been any on pull ups, but studies on lat pull downs, which are the closest that we've got, show that roughly a grip width of one and a half times your shoulder width is going to be the best position for you in which to grip. And so I'll show you what that looks like now for me. I'm thinking of putting my hands up and diagonally, up and diagonally, rather than straight up and obviously not too wide. Now, the other benefit with you gripping around about 1.5 times is you're gonna notice it's comfortable. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable. And the other benefit of your grip being roughly 1.5 times shoulder width is going to be that you're allowed to lean into a position called scaption more which is essentially the natural path of your shoulder blade, the natural orientation. If you're too wide, your shoulders start to abduct more, which means that we're no longer in scaption. But if we come narrower, it means I can go into scaption. And that means that I can drive my elbows forwards, which means that I'm in a position where my spine is extended, shoulder blades are down, and I can get the chest to the bar. So if I just show you what that looks like, and down. And you'll notice that my elbows were kind of going forwards. We were working into scaption. But if I'm wide, super wide, I mean, I can get chest to the bar in this, but my shoulder blades are going out. And so we're not in scaption and it's a weaker position. And what we're concerned with is being in the strongest position possible when we're executing this movement. And typically the strongest position that you are in. So key takeaway, grip width, we want to be roughly one and a half Time. So focus on just reaching out slightly to the side. We want to ensure that we're able to pull the elbows forwards and that's going to allow you to get the spine to extend, depress and retract the shoulder blades and get your chest to the bar, which means that we've worked the full range of motion.